There's a tool that scientists create and then are able to use to help them identify organisms that they have found. And this key, this tool, is based on physical characteristics that you can see and measure and things like that. And it's called a dichotomous key. Now what this is, is it's a system of steps that use either or statements to separate objects. So like if we were talking about our classroom, all right, and I wanted to create a dichotomous key of my students, it'd be very easy to start by saying the student is either a girl or a boy. And so there's only two choices, and so there we go. We separated it into two. So it uses either or statements. That's what we're talking about with either or to separate them. Now each couplet, since there's two choices, either this or that, it's called a couplet. Each couplet will identify a characteristic that is either this or that. All right? And each answer will lead to another couplet until the object is finally identified. And so again, if I wanted to do my class, I might say, so the student is either a girl or a boy. And now I've separated. All right? And then I could say the student has dark hair or light hair. And now I've separated again. All right? And then I might say the student is taller than five foot four or shorter than five foot four. And I've separated them again. And I can just keep doing that until I have every student by themselves using these yes, these either or statements. All right? And so it would work something like this. Now we all know what these four things are. We know it's a dragonfly and a ladybug and a grasshopper and a housefly. But do you know the scientific names? You can use a dichotomous key to find that out. And with four organisms, I need three couplets. And so I can separate them very carefully. I can say, are the wings covered by an exoskeleton? So a hard shell over the wings. Well, you can see that one's wings. You can see that one's wings. That's not them. So it's either one of these two. All right. So we're going to look at the ladybug. All right. Are the wings not covered by an exoskeleton? That would be these two we were talking about. We're going to go to step three. So let's look at what step two is. I'm looking at these two organisms. All right. Is the body a round shape? Here's that one. Then that is C. septum punctata. Okay. C. septum punctata is the scientific name of a ladybug. But if it has got a elongated shape, it is S. americana. So the scientific name of the grasshopper is S. americana. And what about our two that don't have wings covered by an exoskeleton? That was taking us to step three. So here's the first part of step three. Do the wings point out away from the side of the body? If they do, it is A. imperator. So our scientific name for the dragonfly is A. imperator. But what if the wings point to the back of the body, all right, like the flies, then that is M. domestica. So our house flies scientific name is M. domestica. But as you can see, each one is it's either this or that. Where do I go next? Okay, and then there's my next. I'm talking about the not covered. I just skip this one, ignore it, and go to step three. Okay, and when you're working with a dichotomous key and you have a bunch of them and you're identifying all of them, what you would do is you would pick one and you'd say, covered by an exoskeleton, no. Not covered, yes. Where am I going? Step three. Wings point out from the side of the body, A imperator. Good, I got him. Now, you're going to go back to number one when you identify your, first, your next one. Wings are covered by an exoskeleton. Yes, they are. I'm going to go to step two. Body has a round shape. Yes, it does. C. septum punctata. All right, good. Got that one. Now, I want to identify this one. I'm going to go back to number one again. Are the wings covered by an exoskeleton? Yes, they are. Go into step two. Is it a round shape? Nope. Is it elongated? Yes. 
S Americana. Got that one. Good. Now I want to identify this one. I'm going to go back to number one again. Are the wings covered by an exoskeleton? No. Are the wings not covered by an exoskeleton? Yes. I'm going to go down to step three. Do the wings point out away from the side of the body? No. Do they point to the back of the body? Yes. This one is M. domestica. All right. So that's how you work it. You always work one organism all the way to identifying it. And when you go to the next organism, you have to go back to step number one. Always. Always start at step number one with each new organism. All right. Hope you are successful working your dichotomous keys.